Welcome to FOMO Consulting for your daily AMC stock analysis on Wednesday, April 21st. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we are preparing for launch. The indicators, the numbers, the sentiment, everything is heading in our direction for a squeeze. Uh, it nearly seems inevitable. And make no mistake about it, the apes, the diamond hands, the retail investor, we are winning. So if you enjoy the video, find it informative and entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe. It's a newer channel and I would appreciate the support very much. Let's get into the video. So overall today, bullish day, uh, green day, uh, pretty much across the board. A few of the larger tech sector stocks uh, were down just a bit, but overall it was a good green day and it certainly helped AMC. So let's look at the uh, let's look at the chart today. The chart overall was very bullish. Uh, we had a pump at the opening bell, and quite honestly, we never looked back. We grinded uphill all day long, and we battled at the end of the day for a, about the last hour, fighting that 970 to 975 range, and we finally broke through penny by penny to around 980, 981, where we settled the end of the day at 978. We were up 5.73% or 53 cents, uh, a bit down after hours, but no big deal, right? Uh, but overall, a very positive day. And if you look at the beginning, uh, the first you know couple hours of the day, we had a lot of good volume, a lot of good buying pressure that certainly started the day out in our favor. So from the larger scale perspective, uh, you know, everything's looking very positive. The indicators are all trending positive. Moving average uh, is looking positive. Uh, everything just feels like it's trending in our direction, right? Good green day. Hopefully we'll follow that up tomorrow. Um, there's an old saying uh, that my mother used to use, a watched pot never boils. <laughs> there are a lot of eyes on this uh, stock right now. Everyone is watching it minute by minute, daily candles, uh, the ups and downs, and going through the emotion of it, uh, red days, uh, feeling a little down, green days, feeling exuberant. Uh, but at the end of the day, this stock is going to boil, and then when it does, I do believe, in my opinion, it is going to erupt. So let's not forget about good old Godzilla versus Kong. I know that was a few weeks ago where it had its debut, but it is rocking and rolling. The movies are alive and well, ladies and gentlemen. We have Mortal Kombat coming out, a lot of great movies upcoming, but let's look at where Godzilla versus Kong is, and it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, domestic box office sales are $80.6 million uh, as of a day or so ago the international hall is 310 million fantastic total worldwide revenues are 391 million that is absolutely fantastic uh, that proves the box office amc the theater experience is not dead it is certainly alive and well and as capacities continue to be increased new york city got increased to 33 percent i do believe amc will recover 100 percent and then some <clears throat> so let me give you a quick quote from one of my favorite actors and one of my favorite shows i uh, hope you agree great series you have no idea how far I'm willing to go to acquire your cooperation, said Jack Bauer. And if you watch the show, you certainly understand what that meant. The, I don't believe our opponent understands how far we are all willing to go. The apes, the diamond hands, we will hold this uh, forever to prove the point. We will hold this forever to get the squeeze. Uh, there's a lot of motivations behind this uh, on a personal level. 
but I have no doubt they do not understand, even today, how far uh, everyone is willing to go uh, to buy and hold to make this thing happen. So let me just briefly uh, show you one of my positions, and this is AMC. This is out of my Fidelity account. I am heavily invested in AMC. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers and you know different social medias. Some uh, will show you, some won't, this, that, and the other. But from a credibility standpoint, I'm as invested in this as anybody. I have another 350 shares or so in Weeble. Uh, so I'm holding around 5,000 shares of AMC. Uh, I am very invested in this personally, uh, and I'm on your side uh, to see the squeeze through. So let's get shorty. So as of today, institutional owners are up by two at 374. Uh, there's some assumptions out there that every time an institution comes in, some may be long, some be, may be wells, but some may be helping with the lending of the shares, right? The, the share borrowing. Uh, it is very possible that is the case. The good news is, again, we are at 79% retail owned. Uh, the other percentages are institutions and mutual funds, insiders, but we own this stock. We own the floor. We own $9. Uh, this is our stock. This is our company at this point. Um, from an options perspective, the IV is looking very, very good. Uh, the call to put ratio last I looked was around 75% calls to 25% puts. I think that is exceptionally positive, exceptionally bearish. Um, a very heavily leveraged towards uh, the bulls. Uh, so that's great news. Today, volume trended down even further uh, than it was yesterday. So that's kind of a recurring theme. Uh, it seems to keep trickling downwards. And I think obviously it's because uh, the stock is, is, is owned. It's 100% utilized. There's not a lot out there right now to trade, right? Uh, we are buying and holding. So most of the volume is coming from high frequency trading, uh, maneuvering by the hedge funds and uh, you know the institutions, but we are clearly buying and holding. The short volume ratio uh, at last look was 30%. Short borrow fee is astronomically high versus yesterday. Uh, we were in the 18.8 range, I believe. Today we are 26.24. Uh, that's an increase of 7.41. That is huge, and I think that's exactly where we need to be. And I'll show you why here very shortly. Short shares available, 200,000 at last look. Short interest, 23%. Again, utilization, 100%. No doubt about it, and that's via Ortex. Days to cover is increasing. That's almost up 10 points. However, the, that is skewed in my opinion. Uh, the days to cover is based on uh, the average volume, but if you use the mean average and the more recent averages, that would be more like three to four days, depending on how you calculate it. Everybody will kind of have their own methodology around that, but I have no doubt that the day, official days to cover number is understated substantially. Shares on loan at last look was 152 million. Again, substantial and increasing. So let me show you why the short borrow fee is important and why in the 20s, I believe, is the Goldilocks zone. It's just right. If you look, this is GME. And if you look at the short borrow fee prior to uh, the mother of all squeezes, right? Uh, it was in the mid to low 20s. As we got closer to the squeeze, it trended up to around 32. The day or leading up to the squeeze, when it really started rocketing, it got as high as 83.62%. Um, that is insane. 
but that is the reality. But leading up to the event, uh, it certainly was trending in the low to mid 20s. And that's precisely where I believe we need to be. I'll show you AMC prior to the last baby squeeze. On the 26th, we had a 3.21% borrow fee. Very, very low, right? As a result, uh, obviously, it started to move upwards. On the 27th, that borrow fee skyrocketed to 21.87%. We are 5% higher than that today. I do believe, again, we are in the Goldilocks zone. Everything is just right. So let me walk you through a brief hypothesis and a speculative uh, idea around an article that I read on moaxis.com. Uh, it is buried deep within Google. <laughs> uh, I just happened to stumble across it. But basically, uh, it is about AMC and discovery and how pair trading them together that they are a they do correlate very well together uh they move together uh so this article pretty much matches them up from a pair trading perspective which i thought was uh interesting so out of investopedia this is an excerpt out of the definition when these profitable divergences occur it is time to take a long position in the underperformer and a short position in the overachiever. You could argue that discovery would be an underperformer at this point and a short position certainly in an overachiever from their perspective in AMC. So let me show you just a few charts and you can make your own decisions. So this is an excerpt out of the Moaxis article. Uh, it says the idea behind AMC and discovery pairs trading is to make the combined position market neutral, meaning the overall market's direction will not affect its win or loss potential or downside or upside. This can be achieved by designing a pairs trade with two highly correlated stocks or equities that operate in a similar space or sector making it possible to attain profits through simple and relatively low risk investment. So I say that, and again, this is their article, not mine, but let me show you a side-by-side -side comparison and you be the judge. So on the left, you have AMC. This goes back one month to the 18th of March to today. And I just drew a rudimentary trend line. It's not technical analysis, just a trend line. And on the right, you have discovery. Same time period, going back to the 18th or so of March. Scary, right? Yes, AMC probably has more volatility, more ups and downs. Certainly, I think because we are more heavily invested, I think there is more uh, buying pressure on AMC these days than possibly discovery. But going back to March 18th, they both had a very steep fall off uh, and they pretty well consolidated and trending downwards, uh, albeit not a lot, but you can certainly see the correlation. So let me show you what yesterday's charts look like. Yesterday, AMC on the left, it was a red day, right? But we, we uh, fell off at the opening and kind of swung around and grinded back up in the afternoon. You could argue a similar pattern occurred with Discovery, albeit at the very end of the day, right before close, they had a pretty steep sell-off, but there are some similarities. This is today's chart for AMC and Discovery. Again, rudimentary trend lines, but it shows the upward trajectory. AMC certainly uh, had a green day, right? 5%. Discovery had an 8% green day today. So, again, I can't confirm or deny at this point that there's obviously a pairs trading environment around AMC or Discovery, but it is certainly visually uh, suspicious. <laughs> um, I have no doubt in my mind that AMC is being pairs traded. 
um, that would explain a lot of the, the flat trading, I believe. Uh, the consolidation we have experienced over the last uh, few weeks, uh, a lot of the short attacks, the sell-offs, the downward pressure, I certainly believe there is something more behind the scenes than just obvious, obvious uh, shorting. So last quote to close out, no job is too immense when you got confidence from the king himself, Elvis Presley. We should be exceptionally confident in AMC as a company and AMC as a stock, as AMC as an investment. Again, not financial advice, do your own due diligence, but I, for one, am very excited about where this is going. Uh, all of the positive indicators uh, that we have, and I feel more confident more than ever. So as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you found this informative and entertaining, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. It, again, is a newer channel. Uh, but as always, I hope your life is full of green candles. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.